Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the X-Play Fan Channel. Here we go, quick taste of Layers of Fear 2. Uh, if you are curious about this game at all, don't worry, I'm actually very early on in the game. If you liked the first one, I can pretty safely say that you'll probably really like this one. Uh, while the first one I didn't play, I know it was sort of based around paintings and all that kind of stuff. This is more about acting, actors, movies, performances, and all that kind of stuff like that. Uh, there's uh, They allude to like some crazy director who has like these crazy requirements to his like performers and all that kind of stuff, making him do all kinds of crazy tricks and stuff before they can even go to the stage. Uh, all this is actually set on, supposedly set on a boat, and I've actually gone through a pirate stage and a bank heist kind of thing the world morphing around me in unexpected ways like going down a hallway and turning a corner and oh i'm in a bank heist scene now and uh like there were these notes about like no one's allowed to disturb the actors or go to these floors and all this kind of stuff and it's just like the way the world has been built is amazing the entire atmosphere is amazing and so far there haven't been any of those uh jump scare sort of things that i'm very much not a fan of because i don't think they are uh, scary or undeserved uh, surprises. Uh, this game very much just builds tension and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, the sound design and voice work is also amazing. Oh, it's the first time I've actually been able to see my person. But like I said before, this is very, very early on in the game. Yeah, like that has been some of the scares where it's not, it's, it's nearby, but it's not in your face. And it's been very good at building up dread and anxiety i don't get scared by video games or movies but i can very much appreciate this game and what it is doing but yeah it's uh something crazy art movie stuff i turned on a oh hello you weren't there before oh hi oh well okay thank you there's a lot of that. Uh, if you get stuck looking around your uh, environment, something will change. Yeah, we're supposed to be on a boat, but crazy stuff's happening. Can't tell if it's like a mental breakdown or spooky world. Oh, my. Hey there. Oh, my. Nope, no running. That guy does not look like he's having a good time. Can't open that. All right. That room does not fit in with anything. Uh, they do, like I said before, the sound works are pretty great. Uh, off key tunes playing in the background uh, when there is voice work. They do this thing where, like, in normal games, when you turn your like you turn your character, you can kind of focus where the voice is. This voice work is always slightly to your, behind you and to the side, so you can't ever actually hone in where they are, giving it a very amb ambiguous location. Like they're always behind you, always gonna do something, always creepy, and it's a very good voice actor. I don't know who does it. I believe it is. I believe it's the director, because uh, earlier I had a pistol and he told me to shoot the person on the right and I did it and he's like good oh hello there play with strangers she wouldn't like that that's a little mouse she doesn't like it when you play with anyone but her my mouse did not care about that little boy but like I said before if you liked the first one you will probably very much enjoy this one And I also really like the boat mo motif. I, for something about like old timey boats and trains, I've always liked. You can run. Uh, I can crouch. I haven't been chased by anything yet, and I'm sure at the moment I go around a corner, something's going to come after me. All of the story's been told in these. Lots of uh, notes like that, like almost crazy person notes. Like, uh, one of them is like, there's only one person who can fill this role. They have to be perfect, but they have to be broken and damaged. And I'm very interesting view. Lily, I think there's something in the dark. Shh. Someone's coming. 
We've also been uh, following uh, Lily and her little brother for a little while. Uh, there was a uh, mention of stowaway earlier, so maybe these two are running around this boat as stowaways. Not exactly sure where that came from, but let's head this way anyways. But if you are a fan of horror games, uh, I would suggest picking this up. Oh no, little mouse. Or rats, I'm not sure. I, that's... Ooh. I don't think that's actually supposed to be scary. Like little flashes of the past. That's neat. Like this music's pretty great. It fits the mood perfectly if you ask me. Don't fall on me. Oop. But yeah, there are areas where there's color and then it drains out like this is now. Oh my. Hello there. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That's the first time that's happened. So we'll wait for you. Run away! So this is the first uh, chase section I've encountered. Seems like I have unlimited sprint. That's not too bad. But yeah, games like these don't really scare me, but I, as I said before, I can very much enjoy the atmosphere. Close the door. Thank you, little child. This bottle do. Hurry, we have to secure it. They'll be here any moment. Hmm. Lily, I'm, I'm scared. You should be scared. You know what happens if they find us. They'll send us back. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, nope. Oh, cool. They have little. I like it when they have little different kinds of quotes and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm still in Act One. I think that's a one. I'm still very early on. All right, let's get this going. So don't close those. Just run. Keep running. Duck. Oh, I bet he doesn't have to duck. Oh my. Hi. There. Just watching. Okay, then. See, like I said before, this is this cannot be in a ship. There's way too much space. My. Like I said, like this is such amazing atmosphere. The door behind you. I couldn't turn around. I think I ran out of stamina. I do like that it also have, has little different uh, kind of splash screens and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we'll try this again. And if I can't do this, I will wrap this up. But yeah, I would suggest this. This is actually pretty interesting. Even if I am not into a horror game person, I'm not, I am not a horror game person. Maybe, maybe I'm so scared I can't talk. Or maybe that's just me, usually. Talking and playing video games is hard. But I can very much appreciate the atmosphere of this. I do like the concept of slidey doors keep monster out. Maybe that'll hold him for a little bit. Oh yeah, that sounds like it is. The door 
behind you. Bam, I did it. All right, pro tip, close the doors. Ooh, a film. Uh, for the achievements, so achievements so far have been uh, fairly interesting. It uh, alludes to that there are multiple sorts of paths and stuff that you can do. Oh, and the color's back. Cool. But uh, none of this was here before. A lot of this, and I enjoy this. I like it when there's impossible space. But I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fan Channel. Thank you very much for joining me for this. Uh, if you are interested in this game, I would suggest checking it out, picking it up. I will. I say it's pretty good, even as a person who's not into horror games. I think it's very well made. Voice acting is good. The atmosphere is great. The build up to all that's happening and all that kind of stuff is not outweighed by just jump scares and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, kind of fun stuff. But I am Zero JD. This is the X-Play Fans channel. Thank you very much for joining me. Check out our videos. If you have a question, leave a comment below. Thank you. Bye.